in our pretest, this is the last question about simplification, right? But once again, I only select a few of them. You might have a combination of this style, right? Or some new style one. But no matter what, if you try to keep that, like making one term as a goal for simplification, then you could get some hint from there, okay? So, once again, how many terms we have in this expression? It's A over B style. So yeah, we have one term, okay. But it's what? It's a fraction form. Okay, then we are looking for some factorization. Now, when you look at the factorization of numerator and denominator, the problem is they comes with the sum of two fraction forms again, right? Okay, so that's a headache. But let's look at numerator. A over B plus A over C. So let's forget the, the original question. Let's just temporarily say we are looking for simplification of this. So sum of two fraction forms, which means what? We have to make it one term, right? In that case, then how can you make it one term from sum of two fraction forms? Then make a looking for the common denominator, right? So the first term needs what? What is missing? It's the C, right? Then you have to multiply the same C at numerator, denominator. From the second term, what is missing? B, right? So you just multiply B. Get that. Then when you look at denominator, it's a B times C, right? For both. So we can make it one term using same denominator. So AC plus AB. Ooh, that's nice because now I can see the common factor from the numerator. So it's A times, let me change the position, like a B plus C. Don't be excited too much. Okay? There is no happiness in math. Whenever you think you find the answer, be careful, right? You have to always check. You only finish the numerator parts, right? So let's do the denominator. 1 over B plus A over C. Then same technique. What we need to get the same denominator, C for the first term and B for the second term, right? Then B, C and C plus A, B, right? At this moment, the numerator, you cannot have any more factorization, right? This totally looks different ones, right? So that's it. Then let's combine these results together. So the numerator is A times B plus C over B, C over C plus BC over BC. Okay. If you have A over B over C over B, then actually you can just cancel out that same denominator okay, and remaining A over C. We are going to talk about that one in class, right? So just keep that one in your mind. So we have same BC, BC for the denominator of numerator and denominator of this expression. So the remaining one is let me change. Uh, it should be A B, right? Sorry. Okay, so A B plus C like that. Okay. And once again no cancellation, right? This A and this A, no, because there is no A. Because we come to be two terms, right? Not one term, so you cannot cancel out. Yeah, that is the simplest form.